Hello viewers, it's Dr. Sarva Chaudhary here from Australian Polyclinic. We're going to talk about uh, a sleep study today. It's also called a polysomnograph. A sleep study is a test which we do to determine uh, how a person is sleeping uh, during their nighttime sleep. We measure different stages of sleep, which are classified normally as the non-REM and REM sleep. Non-REM sleep is further divided into three subtypes. N1, 2, and N3, and REM sleep. Uh, we spend about uh, 20 to 25% of uh, our sleep into REM stage, uh, and while other part is uh, spent in uh, non-REM sleep. Uh, why do we need to measure or do a sleep study or polysomnograph? Uh, it is uh, helpful to determine when uh, someone has got any sleep-related breathing disorder. The, one, the most common sleep-related breathing disorder are sleep apneas, which are further of two types. Obstructive sleep apnea, in which patients can't breathe as their throat closes down, and uh, central, obstructive, central sleep apnea, which is because uh, their brain won't send a signal to the respiratory muscle to breathe. These patients uh, can present with uh, restless uh, uh, nighttime sleep, waking up uh, frequently due to choking, and they snore many times loudly and many times they wake up with uh, some uh, chest, uh, sorry, uh, some uh, uh, heaviness in their head or some headache uh, with dry mouth and during the daytime they feel increased sleepiness which we measure with adverse sleepiness score. So these patients, uh, they should uh, undergo diagnostic sleep study or polysomnograph. Uh, how do we perform polysomnograph or sleep study? Uh, there are many ways you can perform it. Two basic ones are one that are done at home and one that's are done in laboratory. Uh, and we also classify them into different levels of sleep study. Uh, we perform level two sleep study in our clinic in which we measure the different stages of sleep by putting different electrodes on their head. The patient also wear a nasal cannula around their nose which senses the snoring and also measure how frequently they stop their breathing during sleep. We also use an oxygen saturation monitor which constantly records oxygen and determine how often the oxygen level dips significantly down. It also measures the variability in heart rate. Along with the oxygen saturation measurement, we also use ECG leads which measure the heart activity which is important to pick up any heart abnormality, but also more importantly, how much variation we get in the heart rhythm while we are asleep. Uh, we also measure the different position in which one person sleep, like on the back, on the right or the left, and whether they, how much effort they are putting from their abdominal muscles or from their thoracic or chest muscles. We also use leads on their legs to determine whether a person is moving their legs too frequently, which we normally see in periodic leg movement disorder. Uh, when you come to our clinic, uh, we will assess you clinically, and if uh, someone qualifies for sleep study, we will uh, organize a uh, sleep study uh, at the appropriate time uh, with the patient. The patient normally needs to come uh, in the evening uh, for us to set up uh, the sleep uh, equipment on, on the body, and they will go home and uh, sleep with those with that equipment and wires attached to their body uh, next morning they will remove that uh, wires uh, themselves and can shower and attend to their normal chores and they need to return the machine to us the next day which we analyze and uh, we will uh, you know analyze the data and determine whether someone has got any sleep related breathing disorder or not if you have any concerns or questions about um, uh, quality of sleep or your partner is snoring or waking up too frequently and feel irritable and tired during the daytime, it may represent underlying sleep related breathing disorder and uh, they should undergo a further clinical assessment before undergoing a diagnostic sleep study. If you would like to uh, come and visit us, uh, you can uh, uh, come and see us in our clinic which is located in DHA phase 5. Uh, if you would like to know more about uh, sleep apnea, you can visit our website, which is uh, australianpolyclinic.com, to learn more about it.